I did get the main hoop completely welded. It's now back in, set in the right place according to driver position. And now we're gonna work on the harness bar. Okay, so most rules uh, state on the harness bar, at least on the restraint system, they don't usually say always on the harness bar portion of the rule book itself. Like quite often they actually put the, the rule and the listing in the uh, section about the harnesses that you use and their amount of uh, uh, degree of angle that they're, they're typically allowed to be mounted at. Now most systems will say anywhere between 10 and, uh, and like 30 degrees for example, or the average is about 10 to 15 degrees. So um, the GTA uh, CCR specifies under the harness parts or under the harness section uh, no more than 30 degrees while the local sanction or the uh, lesser sanction I guess if you will is the red line time attack RTA they say no more than 25 so I'm going to go for a range of 10 to 15 and that's where I'm going to place the harness bar so I just take a piece of flat stock with my protractor on it and uh, I'll measure up roughly where we're sitting and the reason why I go slightly under is because uh, if the driver ever wants to change position it doesn't change, uh, it doesn't knock them out of the rules essentially. So, you also got to remember that uh, not every time you get this big section of hole here, and the Hans system and uh, the Hans device and their shoulders or whatever the case is also changes the position. So, if you go about halfway up this hole here and measure downward, and then from the bottom of the seat itself, you'll get your range of, uh, of harnesses. So, Right about here, I've got 10 degrees. If we go up to the top, I've got 30. So either way we slice it for GTA, we'll be, we'll be within, still within the rule book. So at the 10 degree mark, I'm gonna mark the center section of the tube. And then I'm gonna measure from the bottom to my mark. We got 23.25 to the center of the tube. So now we're going to pull the main hoop back out and start welding the harness. Okay, so we measured it up in the car and we got 23 and a quarter inches from the base of the main hoop. So I'm going to duplicate that measurement on the left side, 23 and a quarter. I'm going to take a straight edge, kind of line it up on both sides evenly. And then mark out the centers for the center section of the harness bar. Now we'll take our measurements. And this is just uh, kind of eyeball it, rough guesstimate. Uh, looks like I got about 21 inches. Of course, the other side should be 21 the same. Center section is about 10 inches. So I've already cleaned up these tubes, or these uh, points where they're going to mount, and I've already cut the tubes. So let's start with the uh, driver's side here. And of course, just like the tube notch video, I've said it a dozen times over already. I'm gonna line this up. I'll do my face line. And then my throat line. Now I'll go trim this one out. And then see how close we get. Now just remember which marks you are, what, you, what you've already made, or the marks that you've already made and what they represent. So in this case, these are actually my center lines, or I'm made up with the face line of each tube. So just remember that. Otherwise, your harness bar could uh, be knocked out by at least, uh, you know, anywhere between 5 and 10 degrees, which if you get that wrong, you're you pretty much got to start over. Okay, we got all the tubes cut, knocked, cleaned up, and we're ready to start welding them all in. So, of course, in the beginning, just like all of these, you don't want to, you don't want to lay out a whole bunch of weld right off the get-go in case you have to make some adjustments, trim it up, whatever the case is. So, just like usual, we're just going to drop some tack welds on here, and we'll go back and measure it all.
Okay. Well, we have the main hoop in. I already finished up welding everything and I added this gusset to it and later there's going to be a taco gusset on here. Now, I did just roll through these and there will be a segment a little bit later on in the video about how to build the gussets. We'll go over all that. Now, with the main hoop complete, we can start working on the forward hoops. We're going to go over that right now.